You can't give in. You have to be resilient. You have two choices. Stand up and fight or live with the regret and the what ifs. Not everything worth having in life will be handed to you. You will have to fight. You will have to fight. You have to fight in the rain. You have to fight when you're tired. You have to fight when you don't feel like it. You have to fight when you have no one else in your corner. You have to keep going. What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Spike back with another video. I didn't find something visible my glory. Thanks, guys, for me being allowed me to do what I do. Now, man, we are back, and the playoffs are finally here. That boy Kezi will be playing his first Juco playoff game. But before that, I just want to give y'all a little bit of a little bit of my park, a little bit of park action, neighborhood action. Took that boy Kezi out to the neighborhood and see what he could do. You feel me? Now, man, it's gonna be an exciting game. Uh, we go try to get that dub. I'm really go lock in in these playoffs, man. I'm really trying to win each and every game. All right. So if y'all not seeing me score as much, I'm just focused on getting the win. I know a lot of y'all be asking, like, you know, why don't you try to score? Why don't you try to do this? Listen, listen, man. I don't be playing the game like nobody else. I just play like myself. All right. Sometimes I don't think it's necessary to be doing all that scoring. I'm not into the curry sliding, left, right in, getting on, you know what I'm saying, shooting a three. I'm not into getting a contact dunk every single play. I'm more of a realistic player. And, you know, with y'all players being so good, like, look at look at these guys. All right, look at these guys. Look at the badges. Y'all want me to import them. Y'all want me to use them. And I love using them. But some things I just can't do when playing y'all because i mean y'all players are so cold like y'all nba ready players so i have to lock in i have to play more realistic i can't try to score every possession because the defense is just too crazy y'all know the sliders that i play on is the pop boy hall of fame sliders which i encourage y'all to download and use them because they're it's really realistic pretty much is what i'm trying to say so you can't go out and you can't really blow a team out that's really good shout out to my boy uh cole who created these jersey for us if y'all want to download them y'all see the uh gamer tag at the top but he hit me up in my dm so he has some nice little jerseys and i really really appreciate it because these are fire i'm not gonna even cap like these mugs are fire and y'all haven't even seen me throw out the yellow ones or the gray ones these mugs go hard but hey man let's go and hop into it now y'all seen the players we playing against um, we got a little baby Iverson. We going up against it. My boy is a dog. Y'all seen the badges. Y'all seen the attributes. So we got to come out and we got to play hard. I'm coming off the screens to start it off. Hey! Y'all really go see in this game right here how dynamic Kezi is as a passer. You see I'm throwing it up right there. Getting a nice little lob. I want to get my teammates involved because I knew I wasn't going to be able to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one against baby Iverson. The boy got them clamps, all right? Now, I didn't want to take bad shots. I didn't want to put us in a tough position because y'all seen the games that I played, bro. Like, folks, these AIs be trying to blow me out, all right? So, I really be having to lock in, try hard mode. I'm really trying to get my boy Kezi to win a, a Juco championship. So, that's what we go lock in and try to do. But it's 7-2 right here. We up by five. You see, Iverson got the ball, passing off to Big Dog. I, I don't know how to say his last name, but I'm gonna just call him Sniper, all right? Cause he he do be shooting that thing. But once again, I'm navigating off that pick and roll, throwing a nice little lob up. Once again, we set the screen for Andy, but I'm uh, I'm telling Coach, look, forget the play. I see a, I see an opportunity to go score. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right there. But Sniper got the ball, passing off to Frazier in the corner. He had a nice little three. Now this team right here could really shoot the three ball. Really like all the other teams that I play. Like all the teams that I play really are, are deadly from outside. So we just got to lock in, man, and just try to uh, just maintain, you feel me? Keep playing hard, um, getting out, running people off the three-point line, and getting the contest up. Anytime a shot goes up, it should be a hand in their face at all times. So it's 13 up right here. He passing to Jordan off of that screen. He not getting it to go. We trying to run the transition like always. I'm going to throw the lob up. Hey, if you run with Kezi, I'm going to throw the lob up. All right? I'm going through the lob up for sure. 
But hey, let me know if there's some uh some nice players like a one with on park with that boy Kezzy. I have made Kezzy a 99 overall in my career. Uh, so I grinded him out, I got all the max badges. I need some folks I can run with and get some good uh, neighborhood gameplay. So y'all let me know down in the comment section below. But that boy Iverson got the bar right here. Tough finish going into the chest of my center and getting a nice little play. Now they started double teaming Kezzy early on in the game. They must have read the scout report because he did not do too much scoring to get them to uh, lock in and start uh, double teaming. He only got two points, so the fact that they're starting to double team goes to show me that it's gonna be it's gonna be a good game for my teammates. You know what I'm saying? They can just lock in and hit shots. That boy Andy right there is getting a nice little layup. They miss him. We running on the break, trying to get it to go. I'm giving it to my playmakers. Ah, give my dogs. Hey, give my dogs right early in the game. I really have a lot of faith in Andy and that boy BJ. They are premier scorers. I trust them. When it's an open look, when it's an opportunity to give them the ball in fast break, I will give it to them because I believe hey, I believe they go make the right play. As you see, my boy Andy is throwing a nice little lob to Big Dog. Now it's 25 to 17. But let me just tell y'all, this go be a hey, it's gonna be a battle to the final whistle. Because you know, these guys they can shoot, they can score. You know, basketball is a game of run, so you just gotta you just gotta lock in, bro. You really just gotta lock in. Kessie denying the ball screen right there, getting to the left hand, inside hand on the defender, and one. It's 28 to 22. That boy Jordan got the ball, but BJ is playing great defense. We running in the break, and I'm not trying to put up a bad shot. I'm looking for all my options. BJ is coming down, and he's converting with the three pointer. Man, that boy came to hoop today. Getting a defensive stop and coming down to hit the three. That's exactly what we need out of him in this playoff run. It's 31 to 22. Hey! Watch your head. Watch your head for that one. Kezzy don't dunk too often, but he will catch you. Now you see that boy Andy uh, shooting that three, but y'all seen how they double teamed me. As soon as I took that first dribble, Going towards the rim, they double teamed me, so I was really looking out for that. As he's hitting that buzzer beater to end the first half, it's time to go. It's go time. Y'all know that we are a second half team. If there is any adjustments, any changes that need to be made, we are going to make them at halftime and try to enforce our will come the second half. They're double teaming once again. My boy BJ is shooting that tray ball. Now, the good thing about them sending that double team. Well, it's not only that I get to get wide open looks from my boy BJ and Andy, but if they get going too, they're eventually going to start double teaming them as well. So that will open up the floor for me to eat, you know what I'm saying, to eat with Kezzy as far as scoring. But as of now, we just go continue to do what we do, get open looks, feed the man that's hot, who's ever hot, they will get the ball, and we go trust in them, we go play through them, you feel me? So it's 40 to 31 right now. We are up by nine. Been up for a little bit now, you know what I'm saying? We taking control of the game, controlling the pace, um, and control of the tempo of the game. We just gotta make sure that whenever they make a uh, momentum change in plays, that we just convert on the other end and always have an answer for their answer. So hey, we throwing it up to my boy Sutton after getting a nice little steal. My boy Kizzy starting to dig in defensively. We are up by 13 right here. As you see Iverson shooting the contested J. Trying to get his team back into it. These boys are some fighters. As you see, they uh, get a nice little dunk. They going on a little run. I'm not going to cap. We had trouble scoring for a little bit, but it's all good. Uh, I'm looking for my dogs. Hey, as you see Andy hitting a nice little three. You know Andy will spark up. So they continue to double team me, and they also switching on screens. Bad scheme by them. I mean, I, I really feel like they was helping us out the way that they was playing. I feel like if they would have stayed solid and just allowed me to, to, to go one-on-one -on -one against Iverson, they would have been in better off position because Iverson is actually a really good defender. Um, if I was looking at his attributes and his badges, I know that he will be able to stay in front of Kezzy for a little bit. So, you know, the fact that they send the double team really bailed. I mean, it just, it just helped me out. As you see, I'm hitting a nice little open J. That boy BJ is sparking up. I don't know if they if they if they okay like if they okay with my boys sparking up in the corners and on the wing like I got shooters on my team like you gotta play better I'm gonna be real you gotta play hey you gotta play better than that but it's 55 to 41 we got the ball right here once again I mean this is not gonna win you the ball game uh, sure we missed that but we got two of like the best shooters in the nation like my guys are really like that. 
Okay, so you can't live like that. You feel me? It's 57 to 44. That boy sniper got the ball, shooting a nice little three in the corner. I'm um, cutting the lead down to 11. Now it's less than four minutes to go. Once again, they leaving Andy open, and he gonna make you pay. You feel me? It's just as simple as that. Now we feeling really good right now. Uh, they shooting a three. They trying to go on the late little run. As we coming downhill, I'm giving it out to my boy Jacob, and he's throwing it up just how Coach drew it up on the clipboard. We is taking advantage of each and every opportunity and converting. Man, we feeling good right now. But he's shooting that J right there. They're trying to go on the little run. Iverson got the ball, hitting big man on the top of the key, and he greening up once again. And we like, oh man, let's just let's just take control. You feel me? We can't we can't give up big runs like this in the playoffs, man. Teams are too dangerous. It's 62 to 57. We are up by five. I'm going to the line. Um trying to extend the lead once again we're missing right here 64 57 they got the ball in the break playing great defense right here and i'm giving it off to bj he's not shooting it he wants to get the best shot possible after running the clock down a little bit hey and we throwing it up to big sudden and he getting a nice little alley hoop dunk now this right here is the play that we could put him out their misery give him the dagger hold on hey Throwing it up, nice little alley oop, and that's pretty much all she wrote, man. We came out this first game of the playoff, and we took care of business, man. I think those losses that we experienced in this season, those heartbreaking losses, was the best things that ever happened to us because we learned a lot, all right. And me myself, like playing the game, like now, I really can't relax and just, you know, what I'm saying, play because I really can get my stuff blew out the water if I'm not coming correct. But hey, man, continue to keep guys versus laughing about what you're going through, about what you've been through, man. It's your boy Spike signing out. I'll catch up, boys, in the next video, and we are chill.